Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes and welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Did you think that video I made on magnets was far out? Did you like that? Well, if you thought that video was interesting today, it's really going to take it to a new level. Today, I want to talk about the most powerful, most controversial tool that I use to help people with chronic conditions. And that is going to be something called a protomorphogen. It is a standard process patented supplement. You can only get them from standard process. This has a lot a big history behind it. And, um, clinically I've used them for 24 years. They're remarkable, right? But I want to explain the science and the clinical aspects. And as I always mention in my videos, there's a difference, right? Scientifically, what these are, are protein supplements. Standard process takes the tissues of very specific animal organs. So heart tissue, for example, um, spleen, stomach, right? Takes the tissues from the animal. These animals are going to be either cows or pigs or, um, or sheep sometimes. Takes those tissues, extracts essentially the information, the cellular information out of those tissues, okay? And then we dry it out and we put it into a tablet. And that's what you take. So these are essentially protein supplements of very specific tissues that are found in animals. And the scientific community would not argue with that. They'd say, yeah, that's what they are. In fact, there's a patent on these and that's what the patent is for. So it has been recognized that that's what protomorphogens are. Now, we can't argue the fact also that protein helps with repair and recovery. Protein is essential for repair and regeneration. So we could say that if you take a protomorphogen, you can increase the probability of repair and healing in your body. Still, scientific community has no problem with that. That's a fact. Clinically, what protomorphogens do, and this is where we do the crossover, clinically, what I see clinically, and what the theory is of what these do, is a bit different than the scientific explanation. I see protomorphogens as having two basic functions. One, if you're suffering from an autoimmune disease, where your immune system is attacking your own tissues. So if you have MS, for example, then you know your immune system is constantly attacking your nervous system, right? Won't give it a break. You're constantly inflamed. If that's you, then a protomorphogen, you would take a specific protomorphogen for the nervous system. In this case, it's called neurotrophin PMG. You take these nerve specific proteins and what happens is, is they're broken down the stomach, they go into your bloodstream and your immune system says, hmm, what's that? It knows it's not a human protein. It recognizes that it's the proteins from an animal nervous system but it's similar. It's very similar. It's similar enough that your own immune system will go to that and attack that. So it acts as a decoy. And what is that? Why is that important? Well, it's important if you've got MS because you're constantly being destroyed by your immune system. This decoy creates a window of opportunity where your own immune system can go away for a while and you can repair and regenerate and heal the damaged tissues. It's a great theory. It's one that I believe in, and it's one that I've seen the results in, right? Because I've given specific protomorphogens to patients that are suffering. For example, I've given uh, cardiotrophin, which is the heart protomorphogen, to a patient who's had heart damage. I have seen the heart tissue heal and mend and repair, but not, for example, other tissues. So it's very specific repair work that I see clinically. And I believe that that's what's happening um, with these protomorphogens. Secondly, I believe the protomorphogen provides a blueprint to the body's innate healing system. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, again, let's take the heart as an example. If you've had heart damage and uh, if you've had heart damage, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking in the, uh, the mirror thing here and I'm like heart damage and I'm on my right side heart damage left side. So if you have heart damage, right, and you're trying to repair that heart tissue, um, then the protomorphogen provides a blueprint for how to create those tissues. Because as we know, every time that your body's healing system reads your innate blueprint for repair, 
Every time it goes into the DNA and gets those signals, gets those blueprints, as I say, entropy is a problem and it gets less and less effective. And sometimes it just forgets exactly how to repair it 100%, right? And that's why we have scars. That's why when we repair something, if we injure tissue over and over again, we get less and less ideal repair, less and less ideal cellular regeneration. What I believe the protomorphogen does is it freshens up those signals, it freshens up that blueprint so that your body's innate healing system can look at the protomorphogen and go, okay. And even though it is the blueprint of, for example, a heart of a cow, it's close enough that your body goes, hmm, and it compares it and it goes, yeah, you know what? Um, we can utilize this information in a positive way to improve the tissue that we're growing that we're dividing for repair. So again, it's a decoy and it's also a blueprint. It's not expensive, right? These protomorphogens are not expensive. The only caveat is you must take them on an empty stomach. And what empty means is that you must take them two hours after you eat something, right? And then once you take them, you have to wait an hour before you eat anything. So two hours before and one hour after you take the protomorphogen. That's because it has to break down in the stomach. We have to have lots of stomach acid to break this down. We have to bring those proteins into the bloodstream from the stomach. If you're having a great big pasta meal or something like that, and you take your protomorphogen, it's going to gum up the system. So don't do it. If you're suffering from a chronic condition, and you want to try to heal specific tissues, maybe the skin, maybe the heart, maybe the spleen or the liver. I mean, we make, or I should say, standard process makes protomorphogens for all the most popular tissues. I'm going to put links in the description of this video. You can look down, look at the tissue you want to heal, click the link, buy the protomorphogen. That's simple. Use the links. It supports my channel. If you go to my website, you can get more information, articles. If you download my book, you can read all about protomorphogens. They are a wonderful tool. They may not agree 100% with the scientific explanation, but again, this is the difference between clinical data, scientific data. They don't have to always blend. The good news is protomorphogens are not unhealthy. It's not something that's going to hurt you. And at the very least, you're incre increasing your protein intake and your nutrition intake, which is going to help greatly. Hope this was helpful. Encourage you to try protomorphogens. Reach out in the comments with your experiences with that. And as always, reach out to me personally if you have any other questions. Bye-bye.